So they don't really know the exact cause of Bell's palsy. They say that it comes from, they say they can come from if you're living really stressfully or if you have upper respiratory problems. Um, they say sometimes it might be even because you have a brain tumor that can cause a, a inflammation of the, of the facial nerve. And that could be an indication that you have something that's more wrong with you. Um, so those are some of like the, the probable causes, but when it comes down to it, they really can't pin it down from what I understand. Um, everyone has a, a different specific reason. When I went into the doctor, they're like, we have no idea why you have Bell's palsy right now. But there is a certain age where you're successful to getting Bell's palsy and it's, it's kind of actually a, a wide range of ages. It's like 15 to 60. <laughs> so you have that, that huge chance of getting Bell's, uh, not, you have a bigger chance of getting Bell's palsy if you're between the ages of 50, 15 and 60 years old, which is not really comforting. <laughs> But for the most part, they, they really don't know. Um, for a lot of people, it's different reasons. For the reason I think I was so, so stressed was because I just literally graduated from high school the day before. And I was super stressed because like, I, I mean, I knew I was going to graduate, but I didn't really know if I was going to graduate high school kind of a thing. And this one that, that passed over, like, I think that was like the just the height of my stress and then I was able I then I got Bell's palsy like the day after um, that's when I kind of was starting to receive the symptoms and so for me it was I really believe it was a high feeling really really stressed out um, there is a in the facial nerve there is a possible chance for it to get agitated again you can once you get Bell's palsy you can have it again or you might never have it again and um, I have a really, really good friend, and she received Bell's, she got Bell's palsy. She didn't receive it. She got Bell's palsy when she was like in her teenage years, and then it went away for a couple of years, and then it came back. And she still can't move part of her face. And she's a wonderful person. She's a beautiful person. But you just never know. She thought she was done with it, <laughs> and she thought that that part of her life was over. She fully recovered, and then it, it came back. And so not everyone, you know, um, it doesn't happen the same to everyone, but there are different ways to like treat Bell's palsy. Oh, well, mainly one way to treat Bell's palsy <laughs> that they have. They have, um, they give you just steroids. And so while, once you first receive the symptoms of Bell's palsy, they'll put you on steroids for probably like five to 10 days. And you will take those steroids every day. And that increases your chance of getting over the symptoms faster but it also um, increases your chance of like just getting better overall and not getting it again. But again, they really can't even pinpoint that. <laughs>